try this again. Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Sorry, a little bit of a rush, I'm kind of moving things around, trying to situate in a work break, among other things, so you may see me eating. Apologize, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Um, the only reason I'm bringing up a quick vid, or trying to make a quick vid, is because um, there's some, something that I want to bring up, especially for a conversation I heard with one of our wonderful Unowers, um, uh, who I've had the privilege of meeting. And, well, not really meeting in person, but, you know, talking to it a little bit of more of a basis. And the UNOW community that I've been exposed to as of late has been quite interesting, to say the least. I haven't had really any bad experiences so far. There's people that agree and disagree, mind you. But it's been some rounded, really well-rounded conversation. I've only maybe seen one person in a chat that wasn't even associated with me that got triggered by something because I was saying something about, you know, pagans being selfish, and they took it personally because it didn't fit their narrative. Whatever. Uh, if you think that I'm bad, the universe that you're calling out to is like a billion times worse, folks. So, you know, you you probably... whatever. It, it, you can argue with the universe all you want. It really it isn't going to work out for you anyway. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is, I was talking... it was late, late last night, and I was on Joy's uh, uh, stream, and we were talking about some things. And she was talking a little bit about the Trump, uh, the Trump witchcraft thing, which I had mentioned before. And uh, it just, I actually went into a little bit more detail as to why this thing was a hot mess. And I was trying to explain a little bit of it in chat. And but there was a good one of the Unowers who I enjoy talking to. Where I had her guested once, and this guy, this gal has an amazing mind. And I don't mean like like amazing as in spatial i mean amazing as in she's really intelligent and puts together some great thoughts um so i always enjoy picking her brain and seeing uh kind of you know her take on things which would be i'm going to give a shout out shout out to kaylee bear here because not just because of the cool ninja turtle hat not just because of the cool little moogle and the cool little mew but because this this lady really does when she does speak her mind she's got some amazing insights um needless to say she's not a fan of trump that's okay. It's okay. That's perfectly fine. Um, but she was asking, you know, these people that are doing this, well, they're saying they're, they're doing it in the name of peace and stuff. What's the harm? They're saying, you know, do no harm. Um, here's the pro and this is a good point. This is a great point to address. And I did not address it in my last video, so I'm addressing it in this one. So when it comes to making a work, any kind of work, you need to be very, very, very specific. Think of it as someone like hacking the universe, hacking data, okay? If you change one little variable, what happens? The whole little thing goes, I mean, you could have code that works and now a code doesn't work. Or it does something completely random that you didn't account for. Okay, why does that matter when it comes to uh, the craft? Because all these little program pieces form the code of the ritual. If one of them doesn't work, you have a real problem. If most of them don't work, you have a train wreck in progress. But one of the biggest ones is intent. Okay, so if I turn around and say, I wish, you know, to remove your ability to do harm. Well, that seems great on the surface, doesn't it? But what do I mean by harm? What do I personally mean by harm? And more importantly, what do I see as harm? Now you need to take into effect the great number of people that are that are that would be doing this ritual that are based basically doing it nothing for nothing other reason than to give themselves a pat on the back and uh, proclaim how they fought the evil Trump so they can get a few more likes on Facebook and so people will give them attention. Unfortunately, that's your type threes. There are a lot of type three follower types that like to cling to movements, causes, and they get pissed off for just the simplest, littlest reasons. Unfortunately, many of them tend to aggravate and turn into type fours, the bully types, and heaven help you if they turn into the type fives, which are more the cult leaders. But that's getting into the type stuff, and we can always touch that another time. Um, so take, for instance, the lady that saw a guy, and he just had Make America Great Again. Red cap, white letters. She came over, she threatened to have this guy expelled. She tried to whip the crowd up into a frenzy to go after him. And this was before the election, mind you, before the election. And the reason why is because she viewed it, vehemently stated outright, that this man was doing her harm 
just by wearing a red cap with white letters that disagreed with her particular narrative. And keep in mind, this is going to be the majority of the people that are making this. So what are they really saying when they say, do no harm? Basically, what they are turning around and saying is, their version of harm is any disagreement from their stated narrative, whatever it is. They don't care about Trump. They don't even care about the cause. They don't care about LGBT. They may swear passionately that they do, but they don't, because it's not about that. It's about limiting free speech to suit them and only them. They wish to prevent that. This is something that has been outright stated by multiple people within this particular faction. As I've said in an early video, we have gone from support of a candidate to worship of a candidate. And that's why one of the most dangerous cults that has ever arisen in the 21st century, or you can call it 22nd century, whatever, is by far the political cult. And that is what we are seeing. This is the political cult at work. And their version of what they consider harm is could be something as simple as um, a person that said, look, this stuff about Trump that you're saying is false. Oh my God, you've, you've harmed me. They haven't done any harm to the other person. But as far as the person that's making the spell goes, that's making the art, that's their version of harm and that's what they're putting into the spell. And what they're saying is, in the name of peace and liberty, we want to restrict these, this person's speech unless it fits within our measure of conformity. They want to use the art in order to enforce conformity in a way that is selfish and unhealthy just so they can get a little bit more attention. These people do not need a cause. They do not need to practice spell work of any kind. If anybody needs to be bound, it's them because they are not mature enough to handle it. And they have demonstrated such. They threw something together without taking into effect uh, any kind of personal responsibility. They still can't take personal responsibility for the fact of somebody won that they didn't like. They can't handle that in a healthy manner in the physical attribute, but they can't get away with it in the physical attribute because people are getting sick of it. So now they're gonna trick their cosmic little temper tantrum into the universe and try and get the universe to do with their dirty work for them. And the universe is the spiritual aspect of it is far more strict and far more severe about stuff like that when it comes to backlash than the physical aspect. And what's going to happen next? Oh, now we have to fight the cosmic patriarchy? Good luck. They're far older and far wiser and a lot more talented than you guys are. And in case you guys haven't noticed, it's not like you've been really building up your bag of tricks. It's the same stuff passed down year after year like a tradition, but it's not really been built on. Nobody bothers to understand the mechanics of why these things work the way they do, what goes into them, and how. They don't understand how it's done properly. They don't really want to understand so long as their coven thinks they're the uh, graham cracker, you know. Now that was a that was a poor analogy. Just like they think that they're the best things in sliced bread. There you go. As long as they've got their fans, their echo chamber that's saying, you are the master mage. They honestly don't care anyway. They're just going to throw something out there and good luck. There's no respect given to whatever you're calling, which is dangerous. And, you know, they're saying, oh, there won't be any blowback. There won't be any blowback. They don't care if there's blowback so long as they look good. And this is another example of why you don't need these people. But that's uh, this is this vid was to address basically that avenue. Uh, I wanted to get that out there and say that you know you have to be really specific with this stuff, and the specifics that you have in mind when you read it may not quite be what you imagine, because you have to figure a lot of people and their version of no harm or removing harm. There are some extreme people that believe that any Trump supporter existing that that existence is harm. So bear that in mind. And I'm not saying the entire flock is that way, but there are a lot of them, as has been demonstrated since the election with the riots and stuff. And you have to figure these are, the majority is really, really showing some very, very creepy vibes here. And they're not really about to get their acting gear anytime soon, but they're the ones you really have to watch out for. The mass of energy, the majority of the energy that's being put into it is just unhealthy and selfish. 
So that's why there actually is harm being put into this. And that's why there is a problem with this ritual, because it, it just, from start to finish, it's selfish. It isn't what it claims to be. And it's setting the, even the people up who are performing it for some serious backlash and negative consequences upon themselves. And the person that created this and put it up there only really cares about getting his name out there in public and making himself feel good. Which, goddamn pigeons. And those of you that have been in you now know exactly what I mean by that. So I'm going to end it up here so I can take the last couple of minutes and eat some lunch. And uh, I'm going to upload this in the beginning. I hope you all having a great day. Um, look forward to a you now popping up for strange and unusual stuff. I have details on my you now page. I may be doing this on Sunday night-ish. I don't know. Um, so I look forward to a lot of uh, different guest speakers on that. Bring all your strange and unusual stories. You are on the honor system. Please don't troll us. And uh, give us something. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk and ask questions to situate that then. I look forward to hearing from you whether you like me or not. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.